Countless childhood actors have come forward with the trauma and abuse that they have suffered as being a child actor. They have come forward to sue their parents for male nourishment, male practice, a multitude of different reasonings that I'll get into. But what my main point and argument is, is for the children. If you, as a parent, feel that you need protection rights from your own child, that seems a little fishy to me. So let's get into it. Hollywood is full of drugs, alcohol, competition, needing to change yourself, change your body to fit with the competition. That's no place for a developing child if their parents do not protect them from that. Lindsay Lohan, Robert Downey Jr. are all examples of childhood actors who grew up in Hollywood and were placed in treat treatment, rehab, developed severe mental health issues. Now, going into the, that spiral, money. Money is another huge issue, and it's an issue because back in the day, 100% of the earnings were full responsibility of the child's actor's parents. And there's no child labor laws uh, affecting children. They're exempt from those child labor laws. There's hour limitations and permits, but there's they're exempt to those child labor laws. Jackie Coogan, huge star. Huckleberry Finn released in 1931. He played the main actor, Tom Sawyer. He made millions of dollars, made so much money, starred in so many films. He grew up to find that his parents spent every single cent he had earned. And he took them to court that this was unacceptable. And he got a tiny, tiny bit of money back. But what ultimately was passed was the Coogan Law, which stated that 15% of a child actor's earnings must be placed into a trust that cannot be touched. But I find that a little bit offensive. 85% of that child actor's hard work, hard work earned money is still in complete control of the child actor's parents, which then can lead to this greedy overworking of a child, like what happened to Judy Garland the famous actress from Wizard of Oz playing Dorothy, but let me tell you, there was no Emerald City on that set. She was given performance enhancing drugs to stay awake for rigorous amounts of hours for filming. She was given a rigorous diet, which ended up having her a huge eating disorder. Any childhood actor now who has sued their parents didn't in great reason. Ariel Winter was mentally and physically abused by her own parents and other stars their, their money was completely mistreated by their own parents. There's countless stories of what has happened to these poor childhood actors. So my main argument here is if, as a parent, you are afraid that your own child actor will sue you, I think we know who needs the protection rights. Thank you.